Welcome to the first instalment in a brand new series here on GCN entitled, Where Are They Now? As you can probably guess, we're going to take a look at a few retired high profile cyclists and let you know what they've been doing during their retirement. So we're going to start with Yevgeny Berzin, who back in 1994, aged just 24, managed to win Liège-Bastogne-Liège and the Giro d'Italia, where he beat the rider that won it the two previous occasions, Miguel Indure. Now that was about as good as it got for Berzin, who never reached those same heights again. In 1997, he attempted to break the world hour record, but stopped after 17 minutes when he'd already fallen well short of Chris Boardman's pace. So where is Berzin now? Well, he still resides in Italy, in the Lombardy region to be precise. He's far from a shadow of his former self, but he owns three Fiat dealerships. In the six year period between 97 and 2002, the Italian rider Michele Bartoli was the most successful one day rider in the world. He managed to take three out of the five monuments, so Liège Baston Liège, the Tour of Flanders, and the Tour of Lombardy. He also managed to win Amstel Gold and Flesh Wallon as well. And he was the overall winner of the UCI World Cup in both 1997 and 1998. Since 2004, Bartoli has remained in his adopted hometown of Monte Carlo. He's a coaching consultant for the Italian Lamprey Marida squad. He also lends his name to a line of bicycles made by Prestigio and the Michele Bartoli Gran Fondo, which starts and finishes in Luca each year. After playing a major support role to Greg LeMond at the 1986 Tour de France, two years later, Andy Hampson became the first American to win the Giro d'Italia, punctuated, of course, by an incredibly brave performance under the snow over the Gavia Pass. A couple of years after that, he managed to win a stage of the Tour de France himself and finished fourth overall. Since his retirement, he and his brother Steve have set up a bike brand called Hampstead Cycles. He splits his time between Boulder in Colorado and Tuscany in Italy and owns a bicycle touring company called Cingiali Cycling Tours. Oh, and another little fun fact for you, his hometown of Grand Forks in North Dakota has also, back in 2007, named a 40-mile cycle track after him. The American rider Kevin Livingston has had one of the most anonymous retirements in pro cycling. So he was one of Armstrong's key lieutenants during his first two Tour de France victories, but then signed to be a team leader with the Linda McCartney squad back in 2001. However, that dream was shattered when the team folded, so he then signed for Team Telecom, which was the home of Armstrong's arch rival, Jan Ulrich, something which of course didn't go down very well with Lance. He spent two seasons in support of Ulrich before retiring at the age of just 29 in 2002. These days, Livingston spends some of his time consulting for US events company Medalist Sports, basically as a competition director, acting as a liaison between the teams and events such as the Amgen Tour of California and the US Pro Challenge. However, most of his time is taken up with his own company, the Pedal Hard Training Center. It's a coaching business and a bike fitting service, which you can find in the basement of Lance Armstrong's bike shop, Mellow Johnny's. Irishman Mark Scanlon burst onto the cycling scene back in 1999 by winning the Junior World Road Race Championships in Valkenburg on his 18th birthday. However, a series of injuries during his career meant he never quite delivered on his promise despite being National Irish Road Race Champion on two occasions. He was also part of the ill-fated Linda McCartney squad in 2001 and once that folded, spent four seasons with the French AG2R squad. Scanlon finally hung up his wheels at the end of 2006, aged just 26. Since then, he's been based back home in Ireland and working as a prison officer at Castle Ray Prison. Now, we understand that he still doesn't own a road bike to this day, and for many years, he didn't touch a bike at all. But recently, he's taken up mountain biking, and in fact, finished fifth overall in his age group at the National Irish Championships this year. Now, if you'd like to see some more content here on GCN, we've got plenty for you. Clicking just up there will take you through to our top 10 cycling facts, and clicking just down there will take you through to the latest GCN show. Make sure you subscribe as well. All you've got to do to do that is click anywhere on this box that I'm contained within. It's probably about there. <laughs>